Shalom, this is Jonathan Kahn, and I have an announcement um, that I'm excited about. I believe you'll be excited about it too. I'm announcing, this is to announce, the first biblical mystery tour of Israel. Now, this is something I've never done before. We always have amazing tours and adventures and pilgrimages in the Holy Land in Israel. And we've had so many people now who want to come. We've actually had to turn people away. and We've actually had to double the amount of tours that I do. But now, I'm planning to do something that is very special and different. And this, so this is to announce the first biblical mystery tour. We always seek to make the tours of Israel the most special, the greatest, richest experience, life-changing experience you could ever have. And we always do things that are beyond things that are not normally done and uh, places that are not normally gone to. But with this coming tour, it's going to be even beyond that. We're going to not only going to open up the mysteries of God and meet God there and have amazing times and see all the all the special places, but we're going to go where few people go and to places I've always wanted to go but have never been able to. Some of these special places, now I'm going to talk about the, the rest, of, but some of the things that are, are unique and distinct, especially to this, to the Biblical Mystery Tour, are these. The Road of the Patriarchs. So you're going to actually walking where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob walked. The Mountain of Blessing, Mount Gerizim. This is the very place in Joshua where they, the blessings were spoken from. This is the mountain where blessings come, blessings are given, and we're going to be standing, you're going to be standing on it. Elon Morab, that's, what is that? That's Abraham's place, the Oaks of Morab, where he actually stood, dwelt, and built an altar to the Lord. If you can imagine standing where Abraham stood. Shiloh, the place of the tabernacle of God, where the tabernacle was for hundreds of years. That's where God's glory rested, where the altar was, where the holy place was, the holy of holies. But there, can imagine being the place where God's glory rested. Shechem, that is to, we'll be on there to, we'll overlook the place where the patriarchs dwelt, where Joseph dwelt. You can imagine uh, seeing that and his brothers, um, actually where they have Joseph's tomb and the woman at the well and much more. Bethel, the house of God, that's what it means. The place where Jacob, imagine being the place where Jacob laid, laid down and the, the ladder of, from heaven to earth, God showed him that there. That's what he said. He said, whoa. He said, I didn't know how awesome is this place that God was here. It's the very place of God. We're going to be going to be standing there. Hebron, where Abraham dwelt and, and he walked and he lived. And the cave of Machpelah, which is the cave where Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are actually buried. And Sarah and Rachel and Rebecca and Leah are all there. And they actually, the, the evidence is that it's actually, it actually is the place. The mystery of Arad. What's Arad is a mysterious ancient biblical city that holds one of the most amazing things in the world, and you're going to walk through it. Katsrin, that's the living biblical city. Imagine going back in time. If you could go back in time and actually go to an actual city from the Bible and see it alive. Well, that's what Katsrin, Katsrin is an actual biblical city, a city from the time of Messiah. And it's going to be, it's actually recreated. So it's alive. It's living. You'll see people as if they're living, you know, making olive oil, do, you know, doing all the different things, you know, writing scribes, writing the, the scriptures, all that. It's going to be like you're walking through time in time travel. The mystical city of Akko. This is like an Indiana Jones adventure. I could just tell you. The mystery of Susia. Susia, ancient city in the in, in, in Israel, and there's the caves of Susia, and you're going to see the ancient synagogue of, of Susia, but there is hidden there a mystery that has been called, it, it's, it's a mystery that is found nowhere else in the universe. That's how incredible this is. And many surprises. So friends, we're going to have a, a whole time together in the Tower of David in the ancient city, and we're going to have a special time of worship, and, and one of Israel's foremost worship leaders is going to be just, is going to be just there for us, leading leading in worship. I'll share. There's, there's also an amazing light show on the ancient walls, and all. It's going to be an amazing once in a lifetime adventure. And of course, we're going to be also doing the other other special things that we do on the other tours that we're known for. For instance. Of course, the boat ride, on, you'll be sailing on the Sea of Galilee, the renewal of vows at, in the land of Cana, where you renew your vows to the Lord, and, or if you're married to each other. The commu in the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, there 
of course, tours go to the Garden of Gethsemane, but we go to a special place there that looks like it, and we don't just do it, we go at night. So therefore, it's like you're there with Messiah. We have candlelight, we have communion, it's amazing. Um, also a candlelight service and communion in the ancient synagogue of Chorazim, the, on the ground on which Messiah stood. Uh, the Temple Mount, of course, the, the, the center of the world. The, a, a special biblical wilderness night experience, which I cannot even explain. You're just gonna, you'll see it. Um, the, a prophetic journey to the Eastern Gate, which is rarely done on, on any tour. I don't know why, it's amazing. To the Eastern Gate where Messiah is gonna come when he comes again. The Garden Tomb. The baptism in the, we'll have a baptism in the Jordan River, whether you've never been baptized or, or you have been and you just want to experience it. Uh, we're going to go not just on the Temple Mount, we're going to go under it in the, the ancient tunnels called the Rabbi's Tunnels, where uh, they believe that one of the tunnels leads to the Holy of Holies. The Mount of Olives, at the Mount of Olives, we're going to have a, we're going to have an anointing service for you to be anointed for power and break. There's going to be so much that's just giving you an idea and, and surprises. So if you, whether, if you've never been to Israel before, this is it. If you've been to Israel before, it's still it. It's going to be amazing and different and mind-blowing. Uh, not only be a life-changing for you, a, a, a journey for you, but also for those in your life. If you have people in your life who need to be blessed, children, parents, relatives, who need to be blessed, need to be touched by the Lord, bring them. Who need to be saved, bring them. And so in a moment, I'm going to take you through actually the day-by-day -day of the, the actual itinerary of the mystery tour. But we're going we're to have some mystery. We're actually going to go. We're going to go to a place. We're not even going to say. We're not even announcing what it is. And when you're there, that's when the mystery is going to be revealed. But I'm going to put up in the screen. They're going to put up on the screen um, the dates of the tour, the biblical mystery tour, and how how to get in, um, how to find out more, how to reserve. Because listen, we've had to literally turn people away from the tours because there's just, because so many people want to go. So so I would just it, it just recommend get in there fast, reserve a seat. We're going to give a number on there to call, uh, a contact number where you can email if that's what you want to do, uh, and a website and the dates as well. But again, they always fill up. So if your heart, if you're being led, if your heart's tugging you, you know, um, don't wait to <laughs> reserve your seat. Um, be led by the Lord. You know, always check it out. And if there are people you want to bring, you know, to find out more about it, um, just now go to this. They'll put this up. And right after this, then I'm going to take you into the day that what's going to happen each day. The upcoming Biblical Mystery Tour will be November 4th to November 14th, 2019. To reserve your seat or to find out more, call 866-267-2511. Or email us at info at coraltours.org. Again, that number is 866-267-2511. Or email info at coraltours.org. Or just follow the link in the description. All right, I'm going to take you on the Biblical Mystery Tour. I mean, it's going to be just, it's going to be what is planned. I'm going to show you what's planned for day by day. Um, of course, experiencing it is only in, in being there. But in the back, you know, there are images. The images aren't made to match, you know, any one moment. They might, but um, it's just general of Israel. But I can't do justice to what we're going to do. But, but let me give you an idea. Okay, when you arrive, depending on when you arrive, um, hopefully you'll have time to just have, have time uh, at the shores of the Promised Land, the Mediterranean, be with the Lord. You may pass by Biblical Joppa, which is where uh, the vision came to Peter of the, of the unclean uh, foods to, that the gospel would go to the whole world. Um, you may go past Independence Hall where Israel was reborn um, and, uh, and, and basically the shores of the Mediterranean. As we begin, you'll meet me, we'll meet together at Caesarea. Caesarea is where uh, Paul was, where he was taken prisoner, where Peter baptized Cornelius, the first uh, non-Jewish person. Amazing place uh, that's there. And we'll go to the shores. And then we're going to ascend to Mount Carmel, where Elijah stood with the prophets of Baal. Imagine standing on the, the, the actual spot 
where he was. Um, we're going to enter the mystical city of Akko. And this is actually mentioned in the Hebrew Scriptures in the book of Acts. Um, and it's like an Indiana Jones city. It's going to be very cool. We're, you're going to see the Valley of Armageddon where, where the Bible says the, all the nations will gather together at the end. You'll, it's a real place. You'll actually see it. Then imagine closing that one day, that all those things in one day, uh, closing it by seeing, overlooking the beautiful Sea of Galilee. Um, it's, it almost seems like it's not real, but it's going to be, it's just, it's the most, one of the most beautiful places on earth where Messiah was. Then, that's just one day. <laughs> Next day, we're going to begin in the headquarters of Messiah where he, now you're actually walking where he actually walked uh, in Capernaum. That was his headquarters and in the synagogue. It's an ancient synagogue built on the same ground where he stood. And we're going to be in there worshiping, imagine worshiping where he was. We're going to, you're going to see um, the uh, a mystery of a, a place called Bethsaida, which you heard about read in the Bible. That's where the apostles were, were raised and all that. But there is actually things that were just discovered recently, an incredible mystery there. Um, and you're going to see it and where you're going to, or you're going to eat, you're going to walk on where it is. Uh, we may go to Magdala, where the, one of the ancient, most, the oldest synagogue, one of the oldest synagogues in the world where Messiah walked, where Mary Magdalene was. Uh, we'll see the ancient, we're going to, that's when we go to the ancient living biblical city of Katsrin. And that is where you're going to see all these things. You're going to see biblical women crush olives, you know, grapes, um, uh, people, you know, uh, uh, copying down the Bible. It's like you're going to go back in a time warp and it's a real actual biblical city, but it is, it is alive. Okay. Um, we're going to uh, do other special things as well. And we're going to, we're going to close that day in the ancient synagogue of Chorazim where Messiah was. There's no roof. It's under the stars at night with by candlelight or glow light. And we're going to have communion there. We're going to worship there where Messiah was. It's amazing. Okay. Next day, we're going to go to the land of Cana and we're going to go to a, a kind of hilltop mountain place called Sipori. And there, as that's where in Cana was the first miracle at the wedding. We're going to have a wedding, a biblical Hebrew wedding. And uh, I'm going to share the mystery of the biblical Hebrew wedding, um, how it links with you and Messiah. And we're going to renew our vows to God, our beloved. And we're going to have the hoopah, the canopy set up. And um, that's where couples will renew their vows to each other. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'll eat, may even teach you some Hebrew dance. Um, then we're going to go from there to Nazareth, the actual place where Messiah spent most of his life. Nazareth to the cliff, the precipice where, where Messiah was. You're going to stand where he was. An uh, amazing place and, um, and maybe some other places in Nazareth as well. Um, overlooking the Jezreel Valley, where you're going to see all where all these things took place, you know, where, where Ahab, Jezebel, Barak, Deborah, Gideon, all that took place. Then we're going to have a very special time on the northern shore of the Sea of Galilee. We're going to go to the place where the disciples were, where they were chosen, and you're a disciple uh, if you're born again, and you're going to have time just with the Lord. It's one of the most special times there. And then at the end of that day, we're going to be boarding boats, and we're going to be sailing on the Sea of Galilee. It's wonderful. It's full of worship. It's full of the Lord's presence. It's awesome. That's just another day. Here's a, now here's another day here. We're going to open up the next day with a baptism in the Jordan River, the, the waters of the Jordan. And, and if you've never been baptized, this is it. If you've been baptized, uh, this is going to be, you can go in for the experience, you know. Um, and then and I'll share about it and all that. And I'll be there, of course, and um, praying for, and, and when we go from there, we're going to head down. Uh, I believe we're going to go to Gideon Spring, the actual spring where Gideon and had the, had the, peop, the men drink from the water. We're going to journey through the land of the Dead Sea. You'll probably see En Gedi on the right. You'll see probably the Dead Sea, the caves of the Dead Sea Scrolls, and you'll see the Dead Sea on your left, lowest place on earth. And we're going to go up to Masada, the mountain fortress of Masada, amazing place. And there's a mystery on top of it, which I'm going to reveal when, when you get up there. Um, and then we're going to have an incredible night a, a, a biblical wilderness night experience with candlelight and glow. It's going to be amazing. This and now next day we begin with a time of relaxing. We have a time to bathe in the Dead Sea. There's no place like it. You can't sink. It's incredible experience. Um, and you can also just relax in the pool. You can relax, have a spa uh, in the morning. Then we're going to head out to the mystical city of Arad, biblical city. That's where there is a mystery waiting there. And you're going to see it, and most people never see it. It's amazing. Um, then from Arad, we're going to go up to Susia, I told you about, which also most people don't know about, ancient city. 
And there is an ancient synagogue. There's ancient caves, but uh, caves. And when you get to, there's going to be a mystery there too, which they say has, there's no place in the universe where this is. And it's mind blowing. Uh, then we're going to go up to a place which I'm not going to tell you, but it's going to be a place you know about, but you're going to be there and then it's going to be revealed. But it's a it's an amazing place. Uh, and then we're going to ascend the mountains to go to Jerusalem, the city of cities, the holy place, the, the center of our faith, uh, the city where God was, where he's coming again, this Jerusalem. You're going to overlook it at night, glowing in, in the night um, and all those things. Okay, that that is the next day. Now, the, the next day, we're going to uh, every place is a place that most people never go to. And that is we're going to go on the road of the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. We're going to Elan Moreh, kind of mountaintop place where Abraham actually stood and built an altar. Mount Gerizim, that's the mountain of blessings from the book of Joshua, where, the, where actually where the Israelites came in. And that's where God ordained blessings. And We'll see Shechem. <clears throat> that's the place where Joseph was, and that's where and <clears throat> and Jacob and and <clears throat> the patriarchs and they where Joseph's tomb is to this day. To Shiloh, <clears throat> that's the place where the tabernacle of God rested, the glory of God rested, the holy of holies rested for centuries. Imagine standing in that place. Imagine standing then in the next place. It's going to be Bethel, where Abraham. I'm sorry. Well, actually, it was as Jacob, as he, this, the grandson of Abraham, went out and stood there, laid down there, and God put showed him the ladder from heaven, Jacob's ladder, right there. And that's what it's called, the house of God. It's the place of God's presence. Imagine standing there. Uh, and then that night, we're going to have a special, exclusive night event just for us at the ancient Tower of David inside the walls of the ancient city led by one of the foremost worship leaders of Israel um, and a special light show on the walls. And I'll be sharing, we'll be worshiping. It'll be a, a, amazing. And I've never done any of this, by the way, <laughs> none of it. Next one, next day, Jerusalem. Uh, the, the city, the, the city. Actually, well, actually, before I even go there, Jerusalem. We're going to go to through Jaffa's Gate. The, the, we're actually going to enter the ancient city, of the walled city of Jerusalem. We're going to go through the ancient marketplace. You're going to see the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, famous place. Walk through the ancient Cardo. Walk to the walk through the, the the Jewish quarter of the city where. Um, where it's, it's literally prophecy fulfilled. You're going to approach, you've heard about the Western Wall your whole life, you're going to approach the Western Wall and you're going to have time just worshiping with God. Then we're, we're going to go also underground, Indiana Jones, underground in the Rabbi's Tunnel and the ancient tunnel where you go under the temple where they say the Ark of the Covenant was. We're going we're gonna to also meet at the temple steps, the steps of the temple. And the actual temple, temple where Messiah walked up and where all these people in the Bible were. And we're going to have a special thing there. We might even have a special guest. We don't can't even tell you about. Uh, there's 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 several surprises happening, um, but I'm going to share something very, very cool. And then we're going to go from there and take a journey that is almost never done. I don't know why. Amazing prophetic journey where we're going to walk and you're going to see the Mount of Olives on your right where Messiah is coming. On the left is going to be the, the eastern wall of the temple and you're going to see the actual Golden Gate, Eastern Gate, where Messiah is going to walk through the mystical gate where he's coming through. It's an amazing time. And then that night is where we are going to have a, a have the special service. Again, people go to Gethsemane in the day, but we're going at night with candlelight, with communion. We're going to worship God and we're going to have communion in the presence of God. It's um, just such a special life changing thing. Uh, now, the next day, as we as we seal all things together, we're going to begin in another place I have never been to. We're going to go to Hebron. And that is where Abraham lived, where he dwelt. There's actually ancient ruins and steps. Imagine again walking where Abraham did. That's 4,000 years ago. And we're going to go and you're going to see the tomb, the cave of Machpelah, the tomb which actually Herod the Great built. It's a whole structure built by him, 2,000 years old, and containing a cave that is 4,000 years old or around there. And, and all the evidence points that they, it's actually the cave of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, and Rebecca, and Leah. Um, and then we're going to go back. We're going to come to Caiaphas's house, the place where Messiah was kept, imprisoned overnight, was judged or, or was put on trial by the Sanhedrin, the high priest, the house of the high priest. 
where Peter denied the Lord. We're going to be, you're going to be in that courtyard. We're going to, I'm going to share with you there. And then you'll have a chance to go to the garden tomb. Uh, and where, and you'll actually be able to go, you know, the, the garden tomb, they have Golgotha. You have the, you see the skull, uh, sh- shaped hill where, which, uh, as in Golgotha and the, this ancient tomb, you'll be able to go inside it and we'll talk about the resurrection. Um, and then we're going to close with as Messiah closed his journey on earth on top of the Mount of Olives, we are all going to go up the Mount of Olives and there we're going to share about you. are going to see Jerusalem in a stunning way. I'm uh, going to see the whole thing come together and we're going to we're going to intercede pray for the Israel, for the nations, for America, for all from the top of the Mount of Olives. And then I'm going to get, we're going to have an anointing service. Where we're going to anoint you on the Mount of Olives for victory, for breakthrough, for power, for all that God has for you. I mean, and, and listen, throughout the, throughout the, this pilgrimage, this journey, there's going to be special times, prayers for healing, prayers for God to touch you, prayers for coming to the Lord, prayers for renewing your, your answering the call, all that because it's, it is literally God is going to meet you. It's a, it is all, everything I said and more. And so we're going to close on the Mount of Olives um, where you're going to go forth. We will have a farewell dinner after that and all that, but you're going to go forth with power, breakthrough with uh, your life changed in the Lord. So that is just to give you an idea and only an idea I can only touch on these things. I can only give you an idea of these things that you're going to experience yourself. So listen, to sum up, here it is. Um, The thing that they're going to put up in a moment, going to put up on the screen the dates of the tour and the contact. That that means, but I'll say before anything else, I'm going to say it. It's happened before. We have had to literally turn away people. That's before we even planned this. And so get, I'll just, my, my advice is get in um, as soon as possible. God's tugging on your heart. If you're getting, if you're being called, you're being led, get in as soon as possible. If you want to bring people, you want to bring people who will be blessed, um, just find out more, call, uh, contact them, um, get it, get, you know, reserve a seat. Um, and the, and that's it. So here's, here, they're going to put this up, how to call uh, to, fi- to get a seat or find out more, um, a contact number if you want to email and a website and also the date as well. So uh, that's it. And again, uh, listen, uh, it fills up. It has, everything has filled up fast. Um, so God bless you and God willing, I will see you in the Holy Land and uh, uh, an adventure of a lifetime in meeting the Lord and being touched by the Lord and being blown away uh, at the, in, on the first biblical mystery tour. God bless you. And shalom. The upcoming Biblical Mystery Tour will be November 4th to November 14th, 2019. To reserve your seat or to find out more, call 866-267-2511 or email us at info at coraltours.org. Again, that number is 866-267-2511 or email info at coraltours.org or just follow the link in the description.